All the animals are released. They're all alive. No problem. Hey, eh. properly. Giraffe after giraffe runs off into a new life. The team can finally celebrate. In this historic moment, Dr. Andrew Seguya, the head of the Uganda Wildlife Authority, has come to join them. I'm very, very proud of them. Look at them. These guys have worked for the last three weeks. They have put in everything. They have left their families. They have come here. They have slept in the bush. They have, most important, they have shown the love for the giraffe. They have handled them with a lot of care, with a lot of love, with a lot of professionalism. I'm very, very proud of them. But also, it's really one of those exciting days for conservation. This is just the beginning. The Ugandan team will now continue their mission to save giraffes and other endangered animals across the entire country. For Julian and Steph, it's a very personal moment. After 15 years of hard and dangerous work, they can finally see the tide starting to turn. If you had that moment every day, I don't reckon you'd be able to uh, sustain yourself. My heart wouldn't be able to survive, let's be honest. Melvin was the funny one with the funny lips. I miss him now, but at least he's not in a zoo. We did that. We actually made a difference here. And I think that is something really amazing, and not too many people can say that in their life, that they actually have made a difference. Over the coming months, the giraffes range far and wide. The readings from their GPS collars show them traveling hundreds of miles as they explore their new home. The team is planning more translocations to further expand the colony and soon they hope that new giraffe calves will be born on both sides of the Nile. All across the continent, Julian and the team are working closely with African governments and the people who live alongside these gentle giants to secure a better future for all giraffes. the greatest predator since the dinosaurs.